Now I'm going to explain relationship between a centimeter and the meter. Right now remember one meter equals hundred centimeters. Remember one meter equals hundred centimeter. Now like earlier centimeters we can convert into millimeter meters and meters we can convert into centimeters centimeters when you want to convert into meters we divide by 100 we divide by 100 meters when we convert into centimeters we multiply by 100 remember again centimeters when you want to convert into meters we divide by 100 Meters, when you want to convert into centimeters, we multiply by 100. Remember, right? Okay. Now, they have given 1 meter equal 100 centimeters, 2 meter equal 200 centimeters, 3 meter equal 300 centimeters. Right. Okay. Now, that is meters we convert into centimeters. We will take centimeters, right? If you take centimeters, 100 centimeters. If you want to convert into meters, 100 centimeter. Divide by 100. So you get 1 meter. Likewise, 1 centimeter. When you convert into meters, you divide by 100. So you have to write as a fraction form. You can see 1 divide by 100. How do you write this as a fraction form? We have already written. How do we write as a decimal form? Now you can see there are two zeros. Any whole number is there? No. We have done all these when we do the fraction lesson. This is I am reminding you, right? There are no whole numbers. So you write 0. Then you keep a decimal point. Why do you keep a decimal point? To separate whole numbers and zero. So you write. Now how many zeros are there? There are two zeros. Then you have to have after decimal point you should have two numbers. Then you write zero and you write this one here. Right. Another example. If you get uh, five centimeters. Right. You take 5 and divide by 100. This is as a fraction form. If you want to write this as a decimal form, then you write 0. Why do you write 0? Because there are no whole numbers. To separate whole number and the fraction and the decimals, you keep a decimal point. Then you write 0, 5. Why do you write 0, 5? You can see out of 100. Right. Now the example. If you take 22 centimeters, then you can write they are out of 100, 22. You can see there are two zeros, but there are no whole numbers. You write 0. And keep a decimal point to separate. Then 2 and 2. 0 point 0.22 meters. Is it clear? Yes. Uh, okay children. I am going to explain page 50. Now. Centimeters we are going to convert into meters. So you can see 100 centimeters equal 1 meter 200 centimeters equal 2 meters. 300 centimeters equals 3 meters. How do you get those answers? Centimeters, when you convert into meters, you divide by 100. Now, if you take 100 centimeters, when you convert into meters, you divide by 100. 100 divided by 100, answer will be 1. So, 1 meter. So, example 1. Express 7 meters in centimeters. You can see 1 meter multiplied by 100 centimeters. 100 multiplied by 7, 700 centimeters. Example 2. 
express 6 meters and 23 centimeters in centimeters. Now we can see 6 centimeters. 6 multiplied by 100 will be 600. 600 centimeters plus 23 centimeters. 623 centimeters. Example 3. Express 800 meters in centimeters. Now you take 800 centimeters. You convert into meters. So you take 800 and divide by 100. Then 8 meters. Right. Okay. Next one. Example 4. Express 875 centimeters in meters and centimeters. Now if you take 875 centimeters, you have to convert into Meters and centimeters. The easy way is 875. You have to divide by 100. So you can jump backwards two places. Because you can see there are two zeros. So you are thinking the decimal point is somewhere here. So 1 and 2. Then you can write 8.75. This is method 1. Second method you can use the long division. Divide by 100. For 875, 100 times 8 will be 800 balance 75. So you take this 8 as meters and 75 centimeters. Now example 5. You can see 7.85 meters you have to write in centimeters. You know the method 8.85. 7.85 multiply by 100. Why do you multiply by 100? 1 meter has 100 centimeters. So, you are moving your decimal point 2 times. Why? Because you multiply by 100, there are 2 zeros. So, here the decimal point 1 and when you multiply, the answer will be 800 and 785 centimeters. Again same example 7.85 multiply by 100. You are jumping your decimal place two places. 1, 2. The answer will be 785 centimeters. Right. Example 6. 54 centimeters in meters. So, you know, centimeters, when you want to convert into meters, you divide by 100. Divide by 100. Now, you take 54, divide by 100. So, when you take 54, divide by 100. So, you know, you when you divide, you are moving your decimal point from right to left. So, how many places? Two places. Why? You divide by 100. So, 1, 2. Then you can see 4, 5. Here will be the decimal point. 1, 2. And you have to add 0 to separate decimal whole number and the decimal number. So, 0 0.54 meters. Okay. Now, exercise 15.4, question number 1 is for homework. So, please don't uh, write the question. When you write the question, in front of it, when write the answer. You can show the work in separate paper. Question number 2, 3, 4 is for homework. Right? Okay. Not only 4, 5, 6. 7. All you can do for homework.